Heading into the fast lane now, that Cash for Clunkers program has increased sales at many auto dealerships around here and has allowed a lot of people to upgrade their vehicle. But the stipulation is that all those vehicles have to be destroyed, leaving many local auto parts dealers wondering how wasteful the program is. Fox Toledo's Chrissy Lee is live now with their concerns. Well, a couple auto parts dealers have gotten a boost in supply because they registered with the government to snag some parts before the cars are crushed. But most of the parts dealers are skeptical of cash for clunkers and say it could hurt the parts business in the long run. Uh, probably to some degree it will, but, you know, nobody knows. I don't think anybody knows. I don't even think they know what they're, what they're doing about, you know, buying, you know, buying all these cars up from the people. I mean, I don't know if the government knows exactly what's going to happen. I mean, in what, in four days they, they spent a billion dollars? Gary Reinstein, owner of Westwood Auto Parts, has been busy taking in cash for Clunker's inventory. He says they can strip the car of some parts, like lights and door panels, but other parts are required to be smashed, along with what's left, within six months. The current boost in supply has been good for some repair shops. I mostly deal with brand new parts which the suppliers would warranty them new parts, but sometimes I do need um, used parts. And while those might be plentiful now, some salvage yards are worried that's a temporary accumulation. The owner of A1 Auto Parts says his place hasn't really gotten the chance to take anything from the clunkers before destruction. He says some dealers are just sending the trade-ins straight to a recycling center, wasting the entire vehicle. He's concerned this could make it harder for consumers to get the parts they need. But not everyone feels that way. No, there'll always be something. Reinstein also says the Cash for Clunkers program might decrease demand for parts anyway because many have already taken advantage of the deal and turned in their used vehicle. Now, the future of the Cash for Clunkers program is still up in the air. The House has approved $2 billion additional dollars for the program, and the Senate is expected to. Reporting live, Christy Lee, Fox Toledo News, first at four.